I am Rebecca French and I am from Northeast Connecticut, that's where I grew up, and I studied all over the United States. I went to Oberlin College and I did a master's degree in soil science at Cornell University and then I went on to a PhD in geosciences at Virginia Tech. It was important to, for me to have a public connection to my research because I care very deeply about the environment. I'm highly motivated by working in environmental sciences because it's not only interest to, int of interest to me as a scientist, but it's, it's interesting to work on things that will affect people's quality of life and public health, the health of our planet. And I think it's very important as scientists to have that as part of your research. Uh, well, I uh, grew up in the UK and I studied physics at uh, the University of Cambridge. Um, after that, I came to the US for graduate school. Um, I studied atmospheric and ocean sciences at Princeton University. Um, I was working there mostly on hurricanes and climate change, in particular how uh, changes in ocean conditions can uh, affect hurricane intensity. Um, while I was at Princeton, I also had a fellowship in the Woodrow Wilson School uh, working on uh, the global governance of geoengineering, the intentional manipulation of the climate system in order to counteract the effects of uh, global warming. So I was able to get some policy experience there. Um, and during my time in graduate school, I also was working part-time at the Environmental Defense Fund for a little over a year, uh, helping them formulate their geoengineering policy. Um, so uh, right after my PhD at Princeton, I decided I wanted to continue working in policy and politics, and I ended up coming to DC to do a Congressional Science Fellowship sponsored by the AGU. I applied to the Congressional Science Fellowship because I wanted to get into a career in science policy. I greatly enjoyed what I did at my PhD, I greatly enjoyed doing research, but I wanted to work more closely at the interface between science and policy. Going to Congress would give me opportunity to learn how policymakers make decisions, uh, how science plays into that process and uh, also gives me the opportunity to make a network of science policymakers all over uh, Washington, D.C., from federal agencies to Capitol Hill to NGOs, and this is a place where all that's happening. I think that having a science background uh, helps support one working in policy because well, you have a very well-organized way of thinking. A lot of my job on a day-to-day -day basis working in Congress requires strong research skills, which you develop very well as a PhD scientist. And also I look, work on many areas that have a science component to them. I work in energy, environment, and agriculture. So my background as a soil scientist and as a geoscientist gives me a deeper understanding of those issues. So when a senator has questions about a topic, I'm very well prepared to answer those types of questions. I decided to apply for it because I had a long-standing interest in policy and politics. Uh, I knew for a long time that I wanted to um, move away from doing something purely um, research-based in the science field um, and uh, really explore uh, policy, especially working on uh, climate and uh, energy issues. Uh, is very relevant in the policy sphere right now. Um, and just to move into an uh, arena where um, your job is to interact with people and uh, have meetings constantly and uh, make human-based decisions rather than um, research where you're often doing data analysis. It's quite an individual pursuit. That was very uh, interesting and exciting to me. So those were some of the main reasons I got interested in policy. I currently work for Senator Sanders, and uh, he is the independent senator from Vermont. I work as an energy, environment, and agriculture policy staffer for the senator. That means I staff the senator on the Energy and Natural Resources Committee, as well as the Environment and Public Works Committee, both of which he sits on. And I also cover agriculture issues for the office. I'm currently working for Senator Jeff Merkley from Oregon, who's a Democrat. Um, my responsibilities in my job um, are to cover the energy and environment portfolio uh, for the most part and also a little bit of work on foreign policy. 
Um, so Oregon is full of rivers, beaches and trees, so obviously there's a lot of natural resources policy. Um, in addition, we're very interested in uh, energy efficiency and clean energy measures, for example, uh, looking at federal loan programs. Um, and of course, we're very interested in international climate issues. Um, so I'm, I'm mostly working in those areas. I hope to gain the experience of better communication skills uh, from this fellowship. I've had many scientists come and take meetings with me, and many of them have done an excellent job of explaining their science, but it's clear that it, there's not a great understanding always of the kind of information that's relevant to a senator and what would be relevant scientist to scientist. So I think that after completing this fellowship, I can be a great resource to my fellow scientists in how to talk about what we do as scientists to that type of audience. Uh, for instance, it's very important to uh, stay broad and focus on uh, high impacts of your research and not to get too bogged down in the details for a Senate office. Now, if you move to a federal agency, that's a little different. It's more specific. So, again, communication skills are really important value of this fellowship. As well, for me, again, career goals are really important. I want to work in the science policy arena, and this has given me an incredible opportunity to meet with scientists and policymakers in this area. Um, so, during, during the fellowship, I'm uh, hoping to gain uh, a couple of things. Um, one of them is to really um, be involved in politics. I have some experience working on envi environmental policy issues, um, but that you know they're always related in some way to uh, the academic perspective. So you're thinking about what would the best thing for the planet be, um, or you know how would this situation be best resolved. And working uh, in the congressional fellowship, um, you're working in the Senate, so you're having to. Um, you know, interact with people on a daily basis and uh, you're having to negotiate with uh, other offices. The advice that I would give would be to know your audience and first of all to do your si the best science possible. It's important to scientists and that is our role to have good high quality defensible science that is the most important job of a scientist. The communications aspect is where scientists don't have as much training so I think that's where you really need to know who you're talking to and what's appropriate and what's of interest to your audience. The, the best piece of advice that someone ever gave me was when I was interested in doing a career in science policy, I talked to a mentor of mine who actually worked in the green chemistry area. And I was finishing up my undergraduate degree in chemistry and environmental studies. And I knew I was interested in working in science policy, but I didn't know what type of graduate degree to get. I thought maybe I should be a lawyer, maybe I should get a master in public policy, or I could continue on the science path. And this person told me that it's easier for a scientist to learn politics than for a politician to learn science. I'm not sure that that's true now that I've worked on Capitol Hill, but it certainly motivated me to, me to get a PhD, and I've never regretted that I spent that time doing research, and it certainly has informed me in my current position working for Senator Sanders. My advice to um, scientists about importance of science and policy decisions would be um, chiefly that um, you shouldn't ignore your obligation to um, provide clear and coherent science to policymakers. Um, too often, scientists believe that um, they should only communicate at a given level of discussion where only the experts in their field can uh, follow what they're talking about. Uh, I think it's extremely important for scientists to be able to communicate their work to all audiences uh, and you know they have a duty to society to inform policymakers what are the practical implications of their work, uh, what are the main uh, points about their uh, conclusions and their research uh, which will help inform policymakers to um, make public policy. Best piece of advice anyone's ever given me um, I would say in the professional context, uh, the most important piece uh, would be um, that when you come into contact with uh, people who are, you know, high and mighty, more important than you, uh, you know, far above wherever your level is, just don't be afraid to engage them on the issues and ask them tough questions. 
um, don't be afraid to go up and introduce yourself and uh, you know challenge their views or their beliefs. Um, they're normal people as well, and um, you know there's no reason to be uh, starstruck by them. 